With less than 24 hours to go in the 48-hour countdown for the launch of a record 20 satellites by the country's space agency ISRO, the countdown is proceeding smoothly at the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota, about 100 kilometers from Chennai. The main payload of this mission, India's latest Earth observation satellite, the Cartosat 2 series, and the launch is due to take place at 9.26 a.m. tomorrow. Here's a report. India is all set to script history by launching a record number of 20 satellites in a single mission. The Indian Space Research Organization's workhorse, PSLV C-34, carrying India's latest version of Katosat, will also have 19 other satellites from various countries. ISRO had earlier sent 10 satellites in a single mission in 2008. The primary payload of the PSLV C-34 will be an Earth observation satellite from India in the Katosat 2 series. It will prove to be a shot in the arm for India's remote sensing capabilities. The satellite, weighing around 728 kilograms, is equipped with a panchromatic camera that provides spatial resolution below one meter. The images offered by the camera will be useful for various cartographic applications, which cover water resources, mineral prospecting, environment, forestry, ocean resources, and coastal management. It will also be useful for managing urban infrastructure through various land information systems and geographical information system applications, besides military surveillance. The launch will help place India in a select league of nations, like US, Israel and China, who have satellites with similar capabilities. The PSLV will also carry two nano satellites developed by Indian students, one by the College of Engineering Pune to study greenhouse gases, and another by a university in Chennai to provide ham messaging services. The other 17 satellites are from four nations, including 13 from the USA, two from Canada, one from Germany, and one from Indonesia to provide services ranging from earth imaging to monitoring the maritime environment. Philip Matthews, Doodashin News, Chennai.